tell you or I will compare the two religions that is Hinduism and Islam. Hinduism and Islam are the third and second most popular religions in the world spectrum. They differ in many respects including idol worship, monotheism and their history. Islamic or Islam is a monotheistic Abrahamic religion founded by Prophet Muhammad in the Middle East in the 7th century CE. Hinduism on the other hand is a religious tradition and originated in India subcontinent in the pre-classical era that is 1500 to 500 BC and does not have a specific founder. Now I will compare about the religion. It's not to hurt anyone, it's just a simple thing. Now, the place of worship. Hindus worship in temple that is Mandir and the Muslims or Islam have mosque or masjid. Any place that is considered clean by Islamic standards. Now place of origin. For Hinduism it is Indian subcontinent and for Islam it is Arabian Peninsula. Now practices. In Hinduism, meditation, yoga, contemplation, yagna, that is communal worship, offerings in the temple. Now in Islam, five pillars are there. Testament and there is one God and Muhammad is his messenger. Prayer five times daily. Fast during Ramadan. Charity to the poor and pilgrimage, that is Hajj. The use of status and pictures is very common in, in Hinduism and Muslims are not permitted to depict the image of God or any prophet. Now belief in God. For the Hinduism, many gods but realize that they all come from Atman. In Islam there is only one God. Now religious laws for the Hindus there is Dharma Sastra and for Islam, Sharia law or law that is loosely or strictly based on the Quran exists in many countries that have a majority Muslim population. Only some regions with Sharia law apply to judicial or criminal issues. Now about, I will tell you about Hinduism and Islam. In Hinduism, devotion to the various gods and goddesses of Hinduism. Where in Islam, Islam consists of individuals who believe in Allah, a deity whose teachings its followers, Muslims, believe were recorded verbatim by the God's last prophet Muhammad. Now means of salvation. In Hinduism, reaching enlightenment by the path of knowledge, the path of devotion or the path of good deeds. Whereas the means of salvation in Islam is belief in one God, remembrance of God, repentance, fear of God and hope in God's mercy. Now I'll tell you about life after death. In Hinduism, a constant cycle of reincarnation until enlightenment is reached. While on Islam, a Muslim and all the beings will be accountable to Allah on the day of the judgment. That is the day of the Bayamath. Now, clergy. In Hinduism, no official clergy, gurus, yogis, rishis, brahmins, pandits, priests, priestesses, monks, and nuns are there. But in Islam, Imam leads congregational prayer in the mosque, Sheikh, Maulana, Mullah, and Mufti. Now, day of worship. In Hinduism, orthodox schools prescribe three prayers times a day at dawn, noon and the dusk. While in Islam, prayer five times daily is obligatory. Friday is the day of conscription prayer. Obligatory for men but not for women. Now principle. In Hinduism, you have to follow dharma that is eternal laws. While in Islam, says that he is Allah, 
one Allah, the eternal refuge. He neither begets nor is born, nor is there to him any equivalent. And is written in Quran in Surah Al Ikhlas. Not a definition in Hinduism. The word Hindu has geographical significance and was used originally for those people who lived beyond the river of Sindhu or the region watered by the river Indus. Hindus themselves call their religion Sanatan Dharma, meaning eternal law. Whereas in Islam, Islam is an Arabic word for submission or surrender in ultimate peace. Muslim means a believer in one God. Now I'll tell you about the belief. In the Hinduism, the word beliefs depending on the sectors. Whereas in Islam, belief in one God who has sent messengers with revelation and guidance for humanity. So they may be guided to Islam. And who have come with good both good news and a warning. The last and the final messenger being Muhammad. Now prophets in Hinduism. No prophets. But Rishis could be considered equivalent in Vedic texts. Avatars of the Vedic God are different from human reincarnations but could be considered equivalent to Christian idea of God in flesh. Whereas in Islam, Many from Adam, Abraham, Noah, Jesus, etc. to Muhammad. No concept of God. In Hinduism, God is in everything and everything is God. Whereas in Islam, 99 names and attributes of Allah, that's God, who is infinite supreme, sublimely one. All are dependent on Him, yet He depends on none self-sufficient, without beginning and without end, and there is nothing comparable to it. Now beliefs about angels. Hinduism believe that the concept of angels does not apply in Hinduism. Some mythological stories include Rishis who sometimes serve as the messengers of God, while in Islam, angels are created from light and remains unseen as they worship and follow God's command. No view of Oriental religions or Oriental religions. In Hinduism, Buddhism and Jainism were considered atheistic religions by traditional Hindu schools. Buddhists do not consider Buddha an avatar or Vishnu and believe that Hindu priests made that claim to stem the spread of Buddhism which threatened Hinduism. While in Islam, all religions were given the book and a people of the book but are false religions. Now these sections of Jesus which is not applicable in Hinduism but in Islam denied because his death is denied. God raised Jesus to him and he will return before end of the time. Now position of Mary it is not applicable in Hinduism but in Islam Mary received significant admirations from Muslims. She is said by the Prophet Muhammad to be the best woman God created. She is free of sin as the mother of Jesus. Now status of Muhammad is not applicable in Hinduism but in Islam. Deeply loved and revered in Islam. Last Prophet but is not worshipped. Only God is worshipped. According to Islam, creation is Never to be worshipped under any circumstances, only the Creator. The second coming of Jesus is not applicable in Hinduism, but in Islam it is affirmed. Now, Imam, Imam is identified or not. It is not identified and not applicable in Hindu. Why? In Muslim, Shittis believe they are the successor of Ali. Sunnis regard them as their Kalaji. Abrahamic lineage. It is not applicable in Hinduism. But in Islam, the ancestor of Prophet Muhammad is Abraham, though his son is a male. Now, the status of Adam is not applicable in Hinduism. But in Islam, free from all major sins and faults, 
Adam is the first prophet and the man on the earth is sent by Allah and he is the father of humanity and the Muhammad is the last prophet in Islam. Now, view of Dharmic religions in Hinduism believe that Buddhism, Jainism and Sufism should reunite with Hinduism while in Islam it is extremely false and corrupted. Thank you. Please welcome.